All right, Mabuhay squad. So we are finally here mm -hmm, at our special destination. And I think you guys will love this place. So Mabuhay squad, we are here in Villa Escudero. Guys, we were here in season one. It's a magical place. It's really awesome. Of course, the whole crew is here. Jane, Judith, Jaya, Ate Elsie. Yes. Yes, they've got welcome drinks. Let's taste this. Golama. Right. Mm. Where's Lawrence? My high school batchmate. Class of 2000. We were class of 2000, right? Yeah. Pretty special, eh? Very special. Mm -hmm. He's come all the way from, well, Seattle, but he's originally from Toronto, Canada. Lunch, mm. museum, complimentary. Here's Ligaya. Ligaya, you're gonna love this place. Last time I was here, there was another bird on my shoulder. Named Malaya. So guys, this place is a beautiful are you a cat today? Seriously. A beautiful, beautiful farm estate. Like literally, it's like, you know how we bought a farm lot? It's like that times like thousands. It's gorgeous. Like there's everything here, seriously. Beautiful, gorgeous plants. There's like crops, there's animals, there's, oh, you're gonna see it. It's amazing. There's like statues and like beautiful colored churches. It's a very popular tourist attraction here in the Philippines. Mm. And this gulaman drink is so good. So this receiving lobby is amazingly impressive. Look at it. It's a huge straw like house, I guess. Amazing, right? Just beautiful. Mabuhay squad, we have friends here. What's your name? Denzel. Denzel, awesome. From where? Met Manila? All right. Because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Thank you. Okay, with the baby. How cute. Christmas colors. Hi. Yes. All right. Okay. So many pictures so early in the morning. One, two, three. Yes, because we're still living here. Thank you. Thank you, guys. What's the bell? This is for her to play with. But I'm, I'm considering just removing it entirely. So, guys, see this plant here? Very popular house plant. It's called Diefenbachia. It is toxic. So, if your dog were to eat this, consider it dead. There's also a little spine, like a spike inside. If you were to touch it on your tongue, apparently you would go mute, like you would go dumb. You wouldn't be able to talk. Get rid of your house plants if it looks like this. <laughs> Diefenbachia, ladies and gentlemen. Diefenbachia. Good morning, RJ Garcia. Good morning. So what are we expecting with this trip in Villa Escudero? Uh, we'll be eating lunch Ooh. on the river. All right, that's the main thing here. Yeah. But what else can you do here? We have a museum. I think they have a cultural show. And they have a, a lake. Awesome. Where you can leg wrap. Oh, with crocodiles? No. Oh. Yeah. Just worms. Ew. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> so there's a lot you can do here and RJ just spoiled it but the main coolest thing that I find you can do here is eat in a river literally with your feet in a river it's really really neat um, and that's coming up that's gonna be really cool Ooh, gorgeous beautiful fountain pink church it's so nice okay and we're gonna go take a group picture. Look at, oh my, look at how beautiful. Ligaya is so happy right now. You like this place, Ligaya? Mm, it's different, right? But it's so beautiful and well designed and well landscaped and well kept. Isn't it great here? Beautiful sunlight in the morning too, right? This is your favorite kind of sun, the guys. Okay guys, so Villa Escudero is owned and run 
by the Escudero family, and I think this is their house. You getting any ideas for your place? Yes, I am. I, I'm gonna look around and get some ideas for the Mabuhay Squad property. The Escudero family is very wealthy, very blessed. And there they are, Mr. and Mrs. Escudero. See that? The land was purchased in 1880. Wow. And they're Spaniards. They're, they're uh, from Spain. <laughs> in case you guys are new to the Philippines, the Philippines was formerly colonized by the Spanish. That's why my last name is Bustos, Spanish last name. Um, and why a lot of us Filipinos kind of look like Mexican, <laughs> Spanish. So guys, this here is a water buffalo called a carabao locally. Um, and look, it's gonna be pulling these little buggies. And guess what? This one is called Ligaya. You see that? So is Ligaya the name of the carabao? Oh my gosh, this Carabao's name is Ligaya! <gasps> oh my gosh! Ligaya, meet Ligaya! <laughs> See? Ligaya, this Carabao is named after you. You guys have the same name. Isn't she pretty? Should we get one for the Mabuhay Squad farm? She's intrigued. For the first one you can see. <laughs> so cute! And this Carabao seems rather interested in Ligaya. Aww. Wait, but I want to ride Ligaya. <laughs> Ligaya, you were meant for us. Okay, they're, they're pushing us to ride this one. Who is this one? Mahinhin. What does that mean in Filipino? Oh, ladylike? Like ladylike. Okay. So these are all females. Wow, what a beast. Seriously, this is going to be so neat. I love this. This is just chill. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no Lamborghini, nothing like that, no Porsche. I want one of these. Carabao. Yes, Carabao. RJ. What? Are we allowed to have Carabao, water buffalo, in the Mobuhai squad lot? Yeah, I think so. Oh. We should get it as a baby so it's tame. Because I learned the hard way one time, not all Carabaos are tame. If you get the other lot, like a side. Yes. Oh, look at that. Wow. Awesome. Oh my. Oh. There's music! <laughs> Filipino music! <laughs> Ebon is the bird. Alright. Alright. That's a bird song. This song is about birds? Yeah. Oh! The small bird, I think. Interesting. So beautiful. Look at this farm estate. Gorgeous. Lawrence just pointed out that the skin of the carabao is really interesting and different. It doesn't look like a cow's hide at all. They're like there's a lot of skin exposed. It's more like a... I've never seen or touched a hippo up close. But it looks like a hippo skin, I would imagine. Now these water buffalo are so proficient in the water, obviously, hence their name. They can swim. RJ's jamming. He knows all these songs. Of course. What's this song about? About... Someone you love. Oh! OMG, it's a Bigfoot! Our destination. That was really nice. Thank you, Mahinhin. Oh, Mahinhin was holding it. Thank you, Mahinhin. Really appreciate that. I mean, not the pee, but you pulling us. All right, see ya. All right, on to the next attraction here at Villa Escudero.
cute. Love it. Wow, look at how gorgeous. Look at those wooden candle chandelier things. They must be massive and heavy. Look at how beautiful. Oh, so nice. Look at that. The trees and mangroves by the water. Beautiful. Oh, amazing. So apparently we can ride these rafts. Guys, this plant is so gorgeous. <gasps> Beautiful, and look, it's got like some fruits down there too. I don't know what this plant is, but wow, it's looking amazing. And you've got little gnats having like mating flights around it. Just beautiful, look at that. I see fish there in the water. What a habitat. Gorgeous. Hey, Gaia, what do you think of this place? Hmm, isn't it nice? It's beautiful, no? Lots of birds. You can see them flying around. She's intrigued by the plant as well. <gasps> Do you have a love for botany as well? Hmm? Oh wow, there's a water park section. Awesome. Refreshing in this hot weather. Ligaya, you want to do shower, shower, shower later? <laughs> huh? If it gets too hot? We'll go through this ring. Just gorgeous. Look, you could sit in the pool and tan. Beauty. Love this place. Mmm. Alright Ligaya, we're about to try something really cool. We're gonna do some rafting on literal bamboo rafts. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. I'm borrowing RJ's hat. We got the flotation gear. Kuya, me crocodiles dito. <laughs> no crocodiles apparently. That's Only tilapia. Only tilapia. tilapia, okay. Oh, are you scared of tilapia? I'm just concerned. Okay, here we go. Oh my, look, it actually almost sinks in and water touches the soles of my feet. <gasps> oh, it's a little scary. OMG, and I gotta sit down on this. Okay, slowly, slowly. Okay, there we go. All right, wow. OMG, guys, this is crazy. <gasps> wow, Lawrence is paddling. Thank goodness for Lawrence and his CrossFit. Lawrence does CrossFit too. I can't believe this. Like Gaia, can you believe this? Guys, there is like literal water between these these bamboo. Like it's we're literally floating. Well, I, I just can't get over this. There is nothing that would keep us away from any crocodiles that would pop out of here. Seriously. And there are crocodiles in the Philippines, but they say not here. Isn't this nice, like Gaia? Alright, she's starting to sing. Isn't it beautiful? This is your first time, like on a boat, isn't it? Not so bad for a first time. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Pretty cool, no? Now, African greys come from uh, a place in Africa Definitely that is a bit more arid. So I'm not too sure if they have like, if ever it would be seasonal flooding, but I don't know if in her natural habitat, there's like a lot of water like this. I should find out. Any of you guys know? Lawrence, do you do any kayaking in Seattle? A little bit. Yeah? Kayak on the lake. Cool. I imagine Seattle being like Vancouverish. A lot of outdoorsy stuff to do Lots there. Of outdoorsy stuff. Lots yeah. Of like British Columbia. Uh, sailing and awesome. It must be nice living right beside the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> I like the ocean. So Lawrence has done dragon boating before. Amazing. For the Microsoft team, you said, right? Unbelievable. Yeah, just putting my dragon boat skills to, to work. Awesome.
this is the goal. One day having a farm estate, right? And like being able to create something like this where people can come and share in the experience of enjoying nature, right? That's what I love about Villa Escudero. Wow, beautiful birds. You won't be able to see that, but it's a blue kingfisher. Unbelievable. So nice. I think after our Mabuhay squad farm, if we decide to expand, we'll get a larger plot of land and do exactly what we did for the Mabuhay squad farm for the larger estate. Wouldn't that be something? It's great to dream, my kids. Lawrence, what's the weather like in Seattle right now? It's cold. Is it? I mean, it's not below freezing. It's okay. not snowing or anything like that, but it's cold. So you're... Lo digit. Oh my. Yeah. That's right there. But later on, we will be in his city in yeah. a few weeks. So, uh, we'll see how cold it is. Pack a warm jacket. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring my winter jacket. Ooh, liking the shadier region. Oh, it feels nice here. And out in the distance, there's a massive mountain there. I believe that's Mount Makiling. Beautiful. We're actually not too far from the Mabuhay squad lot. Yeah, same, I mean, same general region. Um, and we can see that mountain from where. The guy, what do you think of this? Isn't it great? The guy has her eye to the sky as Jaya's flying the drone. <laughs> you really notice everything, don't you, the guys? Hmm? Of course they have to because these birds are prey. So they, they're aware of everything that goes around. I've been looking up at the sky and I haven't seen any hawks or birds of prey around, which is good. I'm so conscious of that stuff and I bring the guy around. My boy squad, let's just take a moment. It's just, take a moment, soak this in, my boy squad. This moment is ours. Listen to those sounds. See? Awesome, right? Just great. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Drinking some water, mm-hmm. Replenishing the H2O, cooling off. Okay guys, so here is the coolest part that I think of um, Villa Escudero, the famous river and waterfall in which we shall be eating lunch. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. My boy squad. Check this out. 